the weekly advisor movements, 19 November, 2020. Now, before I move on, I want to bring notice to the third annual landscape report um, that we're bringing to market. It launched this week, um, so I'd encourage all advisors to get on to advisorratings.com.au forward slash your say. Uh, for 20 minutes of your time, you'll end up getting a personalised report of your region, a detailed summary report. We pulled together a lot of data sets, so ABS, ASIC, APRA, and the like, and our own sort of proprietary data sets, as well as Morningstar and some third-party data sets. And so you'll end up getting your own uh, personalised regional report, of which there are about 60 regions in Australia, and that's advisorratings.com.au. We, the risk of sounding like a Demtel ad, um, there's also a bunch of prizes up for grabs, so $30,000 in prizes this year. So thanks to all those sponsors and partners who have contributed, so some marketing prizes, some cash prizes, some uh, trips to, to Noosa and the likes, a coffee machine there and a barbecue and an e-bike. So a bunch of good prizes there um, to incentivize you maybe on a Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon whilst you're watching the midday movie with Margaret Pomerantz and David Stratton. Um, yeah, just go to advisorratings.com.au forward slash your say. But let's get straight into the stats for the week. So left the industry, we had 36 advisors this week, switch licensees, 17, and join the industry, we had one. So a net loss of 35 this week. Shout out to the switches. So Daniel moving from GPS Wealth to uh, a new license, AIG Advice. Uh, Sunel and Christina going from Financial Services Partners to Wealth Trail. Uh, so again, another new license, and I'm actually in Christina's hometown here of St Kilda Junction Oval, I believe. So I'm sitting here in the stands at Junction Oval, um, home of St Kilda. Top gains for the week, uh, again, Wealth Trail, a new license, so up six, seven all up. Australian Unity, a gain of three, um, still down from its highs back in 2018 at 192. Another new license, Strategic Advice Australia, three. Navigate Advice, three. AAN Wealth, um, up two, now sitting at 17. So a fast growing license there over the last two years. And my dedicated advisory up to now sitting at 10 advisors. Top losses, again, no surprises, AMP 884 now. Uh, there was one advisor switching between AMP and Charter. Uh, financial services partners uh, down six. So going to 137 um, as it looks to wind up that license. GPS Wealth down four. Uh, Walker Lane, a relatively new licence uh, in the last year or two, so a net loss of three. LUCRF Super, which stands for Labor Union Cooperative Retirement Fund, which is actually the first industry fund, so it was used to be called Federated Stormont and Packers Union, so run by Charlie Donnelly there, so lost three advisors, now having seven advisors in its group and ESV Group um, now sitting at one advisor, uh, solely a business advisory type license. So my quote of the week actually is based on the landscape report that we are doing. So I, again, I'd encourage as many advisors as possible to fill out the, the, the landscape uh, survey that we are undertaking. Um, and this one goes to Macquarie Wrap, um, and it's starting to show, I know we've had a few hundred responses so far, but Macquarie Wrap looks like its um, uh, its changes in its Macquarie Wrap platform seems to be, uh, I guess, well received by the market. And one of these quotes goes to an advisor. It is terrific as the team that answers questions have regularly been the best of those I use. Platform is keeping competitive all the time and investment options are all available as necessary. So we'll keep bringing you um, some quotes and some, some stats and some data on the way through for this survey. We're trying to um, beat our, uh, I guess, uh, response from last year. Um, the more that respond, the better our data and the better the reports that we can put together individually for you, obviously. So again, signing off with going to advisorratings.com.au forward slash your say. And that's it for the week. Thanks.